Hello, I'm Dhru Patel from the University of Toronto and we are presenting experimental study of the equalization requirements of a 2.5D co-packaged 16 nanometer CMOS optical receiver up to 160 gigabits per second. With the advent of 5G AI, ML, video conferencing, IoT, and cloud storage applications have continuously increased the demand on the data centers, requiring high-speed, low-cost, and energy-efficient solutions. This work focuses on 400 gig and 800 gig Ethernet applications. This work focuses on CMOS optical receivers as it offers higher integration, lower cost, and importantly, gives luxury of scalable DSP compared to SIGI by CMOS process. For demonstration, CMOS TIA designed in 16 nanometer FinFET process co-packaged with commercial PD is utilized and offline DSP based the FFE and DFE are explored to find the equalization requirements. Here's the experimental setup with co-packaged prototype with flip attached 30 gig PD and 32 gig CMOS TIA where the details of this prototype is presented in CICC 2022. An external laser source, 35 gig magzender modulator with AWG and external amplifier are used to generate desired optical data pattern. Measurements are then processed with on-scope DSP-based FFE and DFE, where the bit error rate and vertical eye opening are calculated. 160 gig PAM4 reception is achieved with QPRBS pattern with minus 4 dBm input OMA. The below are the resulting eye diagrams with various FFE and DFE tap settings. More measurement data of 160 gig PAM4 are reported as such. On x-axis, total number of FFE taps are swapped and y-axis showing the resulting vertical eye opening. It shows that at least one precursor tap is required and up to 10 DFE taps can be increased and up to 12 FFE taps can be increased to improve the vertical eye opening. Targeting low latency optical receivers, 90 gig NRZ reception is achieved and below are the resulting eye diagrams with various FFE and DFE tap settings. Vertical eye opening with various FFE and DFE tap settings shows that up to two precursor taps with total of 12 FFE taps and two DFE taps helps improve the vertical eye opening. To conclude, 160 gig reception is achieved with bandwidth limited co-package CMOS TIA prototype requiring total FFE taps up to 12, with two being the precursors and up to 10 DFE taps. Such CMOS optical receivers can be utilized to fulfill the requirements for next-gen data centers. We would like to thank NSERC and Huawei Technologies Canada for funding and technical support. Finally, thanks for watching the brief up video of our paper.